Hello and welcome to Drone Man Scotland once again. Today we are looking at the history of Eden Hall Hospital in Musselburgh, formerly known as Pinky Burn House. The hospital stands on land which was once part of the Earl of Weems estate and the site of the Battle of Pinky Clue between Scotland and England in 1547. Pinky Burn House was built in 1826 as the home of the Lindsay family. It became the first manse for the minister John Reverend Watson, pastor of the Congregational Church Fisher Row in Musselburgh, and secretary to the Congregational Union when he married the daughter of the Lindsay family, who were strong supporters of the church. Reverend John Watson died on the 5th of August 1844. Another famous owner of the house was William Lindsay Alexander. In 1854, Alexander became Professor of Theology at Edinburgh University, a position which he held until 1881. In 1867, he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. His address is then given as Pinky Burn in Musselburgh. He served as its Vice President from 1873 to 1884. He died at Pinky Burn House in 1884 and is buried nearby in Inveresk Churchyard. In 1894, George Washington Brown and John Moore Dick Peddy were commissioned to carry out extensions to include a library, study and drawing room. The work was completed by 1899. The very fine interior detailing in the principal rooms of the house dates from this phase of development. During the early part of the First World War, five members of the Lindsay family lost their lives. In 1915, the last member of the family died and Pinky Burn House was gifted to the Scottish branch of the British Red Cross. The history of the hospital starts in 1915 at a mansion house at Eden Hall near Kelso, providing care for limbless ex-servicemen. There was accommodation for 36 patients and the establishment was entirely run by eight voluntary lady workers. It was soon obvious that the accommodation was insufficient and in 1917, with the help of the Red Cross, the committee acquired the house and ground of Pinky Burn near Musselburgh. Local Edinburgh firm James Jerdon & Son carried out extensions from 1918 to 1920 for conversion to hospital use, funds being donated for the purpose by the Red Cross. There was also a large recreational room built which could accommodate up to 150 people.
Originally, there were 43 beds, but wings were added to the mansion house to increase the accommodation to 100 beds. In 1920, the Ministry of Pensions took over the running of the hospital and it was now opened to convalescent cases as well as the limbless. At one time, it was known as the Eden Hall Hospital for Limbless Sailors. In the period up to the Second World War, it then became the main Ministry of Pensions Hospital in Scotland, providing general medical and surgical treatment for war pensioners. During the war, the hospital expanded considerably to provide a total bed strength of 312, quite an increase from what it was previously. Hospital huts were constructed in the grounds, which have the appearance of having been erected as part of the emergency medical scheme. By 1953, the number of patients was declining and on the amalgamation of the Ministry of Pensions and the Ministry of National Insurance, the opportunity was taken to transfer the responsibility for running the hospital to the National Health Service. By 1973, the hospital had developed into a local general hospital with medical and surgical units, a second-line orthopaedic service and a geriatric unit. In 1959, the National Spinal Injuries Unit was established. The 1990s saw further changes with the withdrawal of general services the transfer of the spinal unit to Glasgow and an increased focus on services for older people. The site became disused in 2010 following NHS Lothian's decision to relocate services to the newly developed Musselburgh Primary Care Centre. Following a failed challenge from the Lindsay family regarding the ownership of the site, the site was put up for sale in 2016. The site often shows up on real estate listings gauging interest in the property. As the main structure of Pinky Burn House is still standing in good condition, the grounds of the former hospital have become the target of regeneration projects in the area. In 2019, Stuart Milne Homes Limited withdrew a planning application to develop the site for housing. Unfortunately, like many abandoned sites, Eden Hall Hospital has now found itself the target of modern acts of vandalism, such as break-ins and arson, and it currently has a 24-hour security presence. Thanks for tuning in to our wee corner of YouTube. We hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was a wee bit sad to see the current state of the site. Please feel free to share, like and comment, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for us. And if you don't, we'll see to it that you yourself end up in hospital. Ah, I'm only joking. We love everyone, and we'll never do something so heinous. Thanks, and bye for now.